ready to go. Finally, I think everything's fixed on the trailer to a degree. <laughs> and the truck's ready to roll. We are loading up to roll out of here. We're heading to Robbers Cave State Park. We're gonna be I got a really cool spot. I think it's gonna be cool. We will find out when we get there. I've never stayed there, but I've been to Robbers Cave many, many times. I'm gonna take you guys there. It is really beautiful. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I did say that in October we were gonna have a giveaway in October. So at the very end, very end of this video, there will be a question that you'll need to answer, and you'll have to go to my Instagram to uh, answer that question. So. Let's go. How do you like your new step? I like it. <laughs> How girl, do you like my shirt? Uh, that's a girl. Uh, let's go camping with her husband. <laughs> he, he must be a lucky guy. Too bad he can't come. Oh, dude. <laughs> I hope this uh, step holds on my way. Oh, it will. Makes it nice, huh? Oh, yeah. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Handy wife approves. Good morning everybody. Excuse my camping hair. We are over here at uh, Robbers Cave State Park. You can see the camper behind me and the handy hauling truck behind there. It pulled beautifully up here. Did such a good job. But I wanted to kind of show you this place. It's really nice. You ought to check this out. There's a camp spot over there. Really nice. And here's my spot. Got some dishes we gotta wash. My parents are up that way. This is called Old Circle Loop or Modern Old Circle, but it's really peaceful and quiet. Easy pull in and pull back out. We had the air conditioner running last night, which was really nice because it was a little bit warm and so it cooled it off really good. Now I'm gonna take you guys over to Robber's Cave beautiful rock structures you see here when the weather's beautiful we do some camping on the tailgate that's where you kick your bacon at so you don't get it all over inside the camper but yeah this has been really cozy and right here in the front of the camper ice chest fits right on top of that spare tire man it's beautiful weather out here truck did a good job new tires really looks nice This is just a sample of the rocks we're getting ready to see. There's the beautiful rocks. They just they just go on and on. The cave is back that way, Robbers Cave. But there's so many different cool places. Okay, so there's the parking lot. One, two, three, four, five. So one is Devil Slide. We went up there yesterday. Cave entrance is number four. Yep, that's where we were yesterday. Okay. 
So that's the cave entrance because it shows that's what it looks like inside the cave looking out. Yeah. So now we're going to do three, two and three. Let's head over to two and three because we oh, yesterday hiked over there. Where's the stairs at number two? It's ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So let's head over to toward two and three. nice walkways we went the other direction the other day and it's a lot of climbing and hiking this makes it easy for anybody who wants to come out here and if you got kids they would just be climbing their hearts content isn't that just gorgeous Okay, so here's little trails that go off. Right here, light blue is one trail and orange is the other trail. There's the stairs. Oh, this is awesome. People drawing stars. I hate it when people graffiti everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, it looks like those rocks are just sitting up there. Well, need some rock climbing shoes for this place. Turn around and go back in. Oh, it looks cooler going this way. May I have to take your jacket off? Let's see if Paul can get through this. Okay, here comes Isaac through the, he thinks he can come through the needle's eye here. <laughs> Thought me pulling on him. Oh, he uh, made it. Uh, set the belly in. Uh, he got his belly through. Uh, here we are. Uh, tight squeeze. And here is where he went. Here's what we headed for. The... This is a way out. And look at all those rocks. 
I heard that they did some dynamiting years ago, and I think this is probably where they did it. Try to close stuff up to keep people from going too deep into some of these holes. But this is pretty cool. You could technically climb all the way up here and look down where we were. You could go out through here too. You could go up to that hole there. If you're really good, a person could scale all the way up. Well, Mr. Ed, which way you want to go? Hold, there's a foothold right there. Yeah. No, you gotta go through that hole there. Through here? No, straight ahead of you. Right there. No, to your left. Oh, that hole. Yeah. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> I'm going this way. Yeah. Okay, watch my footing. Yeah, watch your footing. It's like Indiana Jones stuff in here. <clears throat> okay, here's another eye. The high, the high eye crevice. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the other one, but it's just kind of sketchy how high it is. And let's see, you can see how deep it goes pretty deep down there. We just gotta jump across this hole. Ah! Now I'm on, all, on my knees crawling. Hey, look at that. Trash. People leave trash everywhere. Ugh. And I made it. Oh. We made it. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> there's a little crevice way up there, too. Man, I'll tell you what, just every turn. Stone Corral. This is a really, really cool place that I just thought that this would be a beautiful place to come back in here and and uh, have a camping trip if, if they'd let you. I don't know. <laughs> I have to read the park's uh, uh, manual on what you could do back here. But as you come around this corner, you're going to see what I'm talking about. But look at those rocks straight ahead of us. Now, what I wouldn't give to just climb up those, Handy Wife said, uh-uh, not me. But look at that. You blocky from the wind. You could tie your horses up if you were on horseback. Boy, this is just a really, really pretty area. You could imagine the outlaws hiding from the law back in here. There are just so many neat structures. Every bend and turn we make. Let's head back around. We're going to work our way around the right side of the area and up the hill. Came up the hill here. Well, this is pretty. Dark rock. It almost makes you wonder if water came off that. Next time I come up here, I'm bringing a trash bag, picking up trash as we go. It's sad to see how people leave trash everywhere anymore. One thing about it, they got some broken, really good trails. So easy to see where you could go. Watch out for that guy. We don't want to run right into him.
almost around it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start dropping down here in a little bit. Hey. Oh. It's like a little slide. You went down into there, you could come out down through there. It's like crevices. That one just has a rock over here. Here's another crevice. I would get stuck in there. But we could try. fall down there. Is it one selfie cliffs? Selfie, selfie suicide cliffs? Yeah. With all the trash down there. People use it as a trash can. I got, I'm putting, you see a bottle, I'm putting my backpack. There's tons of trash down there. This is so pitiful. If you carry it up here, you carry it out. Oh wow. Yeah, I think we need to head back out that way right there. If I could get back out of here, jump down here. All right. Look how that just look, it just broke and dropped down there. Starting to head back down around to the other side. I don't know if this is the easy way down, but it's a fun way down. Oh yeah, that's a lot funner way down than going around. Mountain goat territory. Little lizard. Mountain sheep. <laughs> we don't want to be a goat, we want to be a sheep. Oh, look at these cool trails. Wraps around to another upper section here. Boy, it just continues on, shelf after shelf. Hey, there's more stairs. Yeah, that's another hiking trail. I don't want to go up there. We were up there a while ago. That's cool, those stairs. Papa wants to go up them. Get his exercise for the day. A thousand feet elevation. A thousand feet elevation. <laughs> People writing their names in there. I wonder how much time that takes. Oh, we're right above the cave. Yeah, the cave's right down there. Because I remember scaling that rock yesterday. Yeah, it's that big giant tree right there. If you go online, it's those pictures inside the cave. That tree is right in front of the cave. Gotta go down there now. It's cool. This rock has a ridge. It takes you, shows you, points you to the stairs. We're gonna go back down and around to Robber's Cave and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn around this way. It would have been too much to hike that way, so we're coming around this way. And here is the cave. Don't be.
build fires. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. You get smoked out. Oh, look at that. This is what I wanted to check out yesterday, but I didn't have a flashlight. But I brought my headlamp that I bought from my dad. It's got a uh, chargeable, it's no batteries. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> this rock is slick. Let's see if we can make it up. Oh, follow the valley. Oh. But there's that big tree I was telling you about. It grows up out of the middle of all these rocks. Hey, there's Mr. Ed. Did you lose me? Oh, going back down again. So, makes you wonder, as big as that tree is, tree had to be here for a long time, and how it grows out of all those rocks, That is pretty cool. See the light. We're gonna try something here. And you can put your weight on the hill and flip one leg on me. Okay, so we are gonna try to see if I can reach up in there. Okay, so we can see a little bit down in there. Hurry. Okay, Mr. Ed says hurry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two hundred and thirty-eight pounds. Oh, more trash. We are gonna dump this water out because make it too heavy. Mr. Ed can't handle the weight. He's my pack mule. So then we're going to put the bottle in game bag. Try to clean up while we're up here. If everybody does that, we can keep these parks clean. Okay, we came up here yesterday. Do you want to go back down this way or try to work our way over there? Okay, I'm going to follow this little ridge right here. Just follow the crack. This is cool. Like little tiny things of rock. Isn't that crazy how a tree could grow out of a rock? Follow the ridge around to here. It's hard to get lost in this place, you just head down. An interesting way down. I don't want easy. I want interesting. Mr. Ed's taking the easy way. Oh, this is cool right here. Like a little bowl. Everybody has to put their names in there. At least it's uh, not graffiti. And there's the entrance down there. We've come full circle. And see, yet we missed a lot of stuff in the middle. There's so much more to see. Almost feels like I'm walking down the back of a dinosaur. Boy, if you're a rock climber, I bet there's a lot of them that love to come here and rock climb. Some freestyle rock climbing. Camera just does not do it justice with all the steepness. So that's cool over there. People writing their names on the rock over there. Okay, Mr. Ed, Sig will be back over here. We'll be fine, Mr. Ed. Nice. 
Look at that. Miss, Mr. Ed's been here for a while. 100 years ago. <laughs> And here's more stairs. They sure make this easy. Somebody spent a lot of work over the years laying out rocks as stairs. I'll tell you what, you could bring your whole family here, spend the entire day. <laughs> Look at these rocks. Isn't that cool? It's the CCC Trail. And here is a little cave I wanted to show you guys. But first, more trash. More trash, pick up trash. See the water comes out. There's Devil's Slide. Go look at that here in a second. But here's this cave. Okay, here we go. Something fun for the family that's not too dangerous. Isn't that cool? And go all the way through there. Isn't that neat? That is so cool. Yeah, that's below the cave too. Yeah. See, the cave is up over that way, so you could come down here and get water. Yep. Here you go. I got, I got some more trash. Okay. This says Devil's Slide. I don't think I came up here yet. Boy, people are having a lot of fun chiseling their names in those rocks. I guess we're supposed to go through there, uh, but I'm not going to. Find another way up. There we go. Fat boys don't do good in tight areas. You what? You got to make sure you have good shoes on. Last time I was here, I did not have good shoes. It made it hard. Oh wow! I don't think I can make it over there unassisted, but I could come down into here without breaking a leg. Oh wow. More trash. I wish I could get to that. Now. Okay. Whew. Oh, that is cool. Gotta be careful. Isn't that cool? I could just see people wiggling back in there. But we're not going to. I'm grab some more trash. Man, that would be hard to scale. This rock is slick. Maybe that's why it's called the slide. Because I'm gonna have to slide back down. Wish me luck. That rock will stop me. How? Like I said, the rock will stop me. <laughs> Don't do this by yourself. Ow. Yeah, Mr. Ed doesn't want to have to carry me out. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do this, but we're going to try it. Alright. Okay, 
this is cool. We just saw this where I was talking to you earlier. A U G second nineteen ten. August the second nineteen ten or maybe it's the twenty fourth. Yeah. But there's S S J S P S S S B S E S all these people, that is pretty cool. Over here it says nineteen ten. Wow. Okay. So here's that devil slide that I was on a while ago. And coming up above it, I came up here. You look way back there, you can see that big tree in front of Robber's Cave. So the easiest way to get to it is to come up the left side. But it's interesting. You see this water source? Now that would be fun to get up on top of that rock. You're gonna have to go sideways. No? <laughs> it got wider than I thought it did. Oh man. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's more engravings. SS820. 10. I wonder if that's the same SS from 1910 and they just put 10 here. Hey dad, huh. come back over here. That same SS, yeah. 820 and it says 10. Over there it said 1910. Here it just says 10. 1910. That's the same SS we saw on that yeah. other rock. Yeah. Who knows if somebody's just joking or that's somebody from 1910. Oh, this is where we came up. We went that way, but we didn't do this one here. I'm gonna head up through here. How you get up that big rock I was looking at. What? We went to the left. And we went the other direction. I wanted to, that big rock up there, I wanted to make it up there. Okay, so we came through that right there and turned around and went back through. That was a devil staircase. Right there. We're going to go up through here. We. Me. Do I got a mouse in my pocket? <laughs> Too high altitude. Okay, going all the way up. There's trails everywhere. If you just look, you can find your way places. Here we go. This is what I was looking for earlier. This is so cool. This is the leap of faith. Jump. I knew that looked like a piece of concrete. Here you go. July 12th, 1930, this flagpole was erected by the following scouts. 1930. I knew it looked like a piece of concrete where I was earlier. All right, it's break time. We're almost back to the truck. Horse flies are bothering me. He chased me down the hill. I don't know why he likes me. I guess he likes my sweat. What's up with you? Okay, got rid of him for now. Anyways, thank you guys for following us on our adventure today. It was a lot of fun, Mr. Ed and I hiking through this area. If you're ever in Robbers Cave, Oklahoma, over by Wilberton, beautiful hiking, goodly, good fam, 
family place. A lot to do around here, especially this time of year. It's October. It's cooler. It feels better. Summertime would be way too hot. But anyways, thank you for following us today. We had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy this shaky tour around Robbers Cave rock area climb. And uh, you guys take care. We're going to head back to camp, eat lunch. And there's a car show coming up the third week of October. Check that out if you're in the area. Every October, the third weekend, I think, of October. Make sure you put that in your calendar. Beautiful camping around here. But until we see you guys again, you guys stay out of tr have fun, find your own adventures, spend time with your family, go outside. There's so much out here that is so easy for to enjoy and enjoying everything that's beautiful. And I'm gonna get some lunch. This is how the handy wife spends her time going to and fro camping. That's her Colorado blanket. She's been crocheting on that for at least five years now. It used to be when we go all the way to Colorado. I've crocheted on it for a while. I saw it about three or four years. Oh, three or four years. She's been a while since she's been on it. She's going to get back on it again. It's a little short, but it keep, keep us warm in that camper, especially with that air conditioner. Kept us cool last night. Yeah, well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's such a beautiful uh, park, and the camping was really nice. And while we were there, a handy wife had me install this grab handle for her. We picked it up at Home Depot and screwed it right in. It was so much easier to get in and out. But we're to the final part of this video, and I wanted to share with you what the prize will be. A brand new Leatherman, Leatherman tool. Now, I love Leathermans. I've had many of them over the years. I've probably lost more than I ever broke. And if you break them, all you do is send them in, they fix them and send them back. I've had several of them replaced and rebuilt, and it's such a handy thing to know that if they break, they will fix them. So all you have to do to win yourself a Leatherman is like, subscribe to my YouTube channel and to go to my Instagram, The Handyman Leatherman. And in there, you're going to answer this question. What was the name of my granddaughter that she helped me in a past video? Her name was Handy What? That's all you got to look for is find out what her name was and then you could be the new owner of a new Leatherman. The Leatherman that I got for my very first time that started me on Leathermans. You'll have to find out what that is. We are going to go ahead and let you go so you can't win if you don't play. So you guys have fun. Go outside, build something, make your campers, whatever you have. We, you know, it doesn't matter what you have. Get out there, have fun. Stay out of trouble.